Hey guys, John here, checking out the Switch port of Turok Dinosaur Hunter. And I know you're thinking, John, you only want two things, and they're both sick. Uh, one, Resident Evil 4, and two, gyro controls. And Turok doesn't have Resident Evil 4. Uh, it does have dinosaurs though, which is equally cool. But it does have uh, touch menus too. If you go to input, it has the magical thing, gyroscope. And if you're wondering what gyro is, well basically gyro is motion aiming. So like in Splatoon, and uh, in Breath of the Wild, Wolfenstein, Doom... Um, so basically, when you move the with the controller around or the console around, you will move with motion. And it starts off with 20 sensitivity, but that felt a bit too low for me. So I went all the way up to 50, and uh, let's give it a go. But yeah, it, it just feels really good. Like, look at this. Look how smooth this looks. And you can, of course, still use the right stick, which uh, feels a bit slow in comparison. But um, I like to use both. I like to use the right stick for camera control, and then uh, just sort of rotate it around for aiming. And it does feel a little bit different to Splatoon, because in Splatoon you can like move around like this and there's there's some movement, whereas here there's not. You really uh, sort of roll the controller around rather than uh, than give it much actual movement. Um, and you know, I kind of feel I feel like um, playing in handheld mode is the way to go because of this rolling motion. It didn't quite feel as natural with a controller for me, but yeah, your mileage may vary. But yeah, Turok is originally an N64 game, so it feels right at home here on the Switch. And it looks really good too. So let's show off the gyro here. We can just go whoop, and he's gone. So I will not be touching the right stick during combat, uh, only for camera control. And we'll see how well I do. All right, there's someone over there, I think. And the draw distance, of course, is way better than N64. Oh no, I feel, bad, I feel very bad for getting that animal there. Uh, on N64, basically everything was fog, and you could barely see a thing. But here on Switch, of course, you can see a lot more. And, you know, it does make the game easier because you can see more. You can see people off in the distance who you usually wouldn't be able to see at all. And, of course, you can aim better. But, eh, the game's still fun, even if it is a bit easier than usual. And, you know what? I still think it holds up quite well. I've always been more of a fan of Turok 2, but, uh, you know, this Turok 1 still has a place in my heart. Ooh, there's a few of them. Hey, hey, hey. Easy there. We've got the dinosaur's tail. <laughs> uh, I think there's someone up. Oh, hello! Someone throwing grenades over there! Let's see, are we getting this guy? Yeah, we are, just about. I think we might have just got that guy over there, too. Not sure if you guys can see everything I'm doing from over there, but um, we made some pretty close quarter shots back there. Was someone shooting at us? Oh, ah, this fella! I think I might have just been shooting a tree just then. Oh god, look at that. Hey, Dino. Dino buddy. Yeah, I was definitely shooting a tree back there. The uh, the reactions weren't quite lining up, but oh well. You know, let's be a stabby guy. Let's get the knife out and try and do a few close quarter kills. There we go. I, I love these little uh, these little animations that play out when you when you get them. Like they're just sort of Almost like falling apart. Let's get these guys too. Oof. But yeah, um, if you've not played Turok before, it's, it's still a brilliant game. It's totally worth your time. Um, and Turok 2 is coming as well, so if you prefer that one like I do, that is on the way as well. But Turok 1, definitely worth it too. Hey, buddy. And, you know, I am a gyro fan. It's in my Twitter bio. I love Gyro. <laughs> um, I love it in Splatoon. I love it in Breath of the Wild. So, of course, I'm going to say I love it here. But I do. I, I really do mean it. It makes the game feel far smoother than it ever has before. And, of course, this is on PC as well. And that, that of course, has great controls too. But Gyro mixes the comfort of, um, of a controller with the precision of mouse and keyboard. Which is best of both worlds for me. And Turok has a few elements of platforming as well. It is sort of like grounded in its uh, in its era where shooters loved to have bits of platforming, like Half Life did as well. No, that's okay. We'll make our way back up. But yeah, uh, it just feels so good. Like it's great to have Turok not only on a handheld but on a Nintendo platform, and with all of uh, the Switch's abilities. And you know what? Gyro even helps here because I can like quickly look down and see exactly where I'm uh, landing. If I just go whoop, it just feels like instantaneous. Uh, 
And whoop! There we go. So yeah, um, Tarot comes out in just a couple of days on the Switch, and my first impressions are solid. Like, this is a brilliant port. A brilliant port of a brilliant game. And let's just take... Let's take one more person out before we... Ooh, there's a big boy. Oh, that was it. <laughs> well... He could not take the power of Gyro. Well, thank you everyone for watching, and of course, uh, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Turok and other things gaming too. Until next time, everyone. Bye.